everybody. This is Rochelle, Godiva's Secret Wigs, and my badass girlfriend, Debbie, <laughs> and her doggies, and, her, the and husband. We're taking an amazing ride in Utah, and I'm going to show you in a minute what I do to make my hair look halfway presentable after an amazing motorcycle ride. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rochelle the mother of the mother-daughter team of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And I have just had a great motorcycle ride with my dear friend, Debbie. She is something else. And a lot of you have been asking me that ride motorcycles. Rochelle, what can I do about my hair? So I'm just going to play around with a few things. And I bet you can't tell, but I have been doing a test for the last three hours. I have been cleaning and packing and cooking with my motorcycle helmet on because underneath I have a Candace wig. And I wanna see how it went. So, let me put this down. So what I did was just put it on. Now remember, it's machine teased. So that machine teasing is not going to go away. You know, if, if you were riding for 48 hours straight, then I don't know, it might be an issue. But let's see what happens. So I wrapped the long hair around back here. This has been three hours worth. And... I feel pretty good about it. So, you know, I brush it a little bit. So what I would be doing was I'd probably wear my helmet and say, see ya, I've got to run to the ladies room and do my thing, have a little brush with me. But look, I mean, after three hours, let's see if we can get some fullness. Now, you know, if any of your wigs are going flatter up here, Think about, have you ever changed the part or are you always just brushing down and down? That will make your wig flatter, kind of like a helmet, helmet top or helmet hair. So let's just do something right now and let's change the part and see if we got some fullness. So yeah, remember the machine teasing at the root is going to stay that way. So after you wash it, it's going to dry. You let it drip dry upside down and our wigs will come with a little, some teasing. If I wanted to get extra height, then I am going to tease close to the root. You can see, I mean, I could make this baby as full as I wanted. So anyway, let's keep going. But that was a pretty good test for three hours in a helmet. So I like that. I would say it passed. Now, my next suggestion, let's say, I don't even know what these are called, but it's a circle all the way through. So I'm going to put it on. It's like a turtleneck. And then once it's down around my neck, now if you have longer hair like I do, I prepare my hair the same because I'm going to try this with a wig. So I've got my Freedom wig in Harvest Gold, tucking my hair in. Okay, let's see what we got here. And now, let's say I was going to wear this wig, motorcycle riding. So why couldn't I just tuck it all up in here? And let's put my helmet on. See how it goes. Yeah, it's okay. And it's nice and secure. I probably tuck my bangs in. And so this is how it would look. I think it's pretty good. I like this because I can put it over my face. 
I can do whatever I want and it's easy. So, and it keeps the back of my own hair or my wig clean. So when you get somewhere that you've had a wig on and it's flat, just play with it the whole opposite direction and then bring it back. And I think you're gonna be just, just fine. So let's try something else. Let's try our beloved Danielle bangs because maybe what you don't like is your hair around your face is a mess after riding your motorcycle. So, or bicycle, I would say. So these are the Danielle bangs. They're so great. They come in many different colors. And Debbie told me this do-rag is what she uses. So I'm gonna put it on again with my bangs. And let my hair be down. So if you can make a little ponytail with your hair, this would work fine. I can bring those bangs down lower or I can use less of them. I can make a side part, but for the ride, I'd probably have it on and then just hide all the hair. It's not gonna do anything to the bangs. And when I get where I'm going, then just pull the bangs out. I think that's a pretty good idea. Let's do the helmet test. I know this is gonna be fine. There you go. And I'd probably hide my hair or put it in a braid or something else or go riding when my hair is dirty and I don't care anyway. But I like this with Danielle Bangs. I think that's really cute. So say you're going to meet a bunch of people at lunch, you're all on your bikes, you get where you're going, you have your wig. If you want, you're gonna wear a wig, you can have it. You can just roll our wigs up, seriously, ladies. I can't tell you how many times I've done this and put it in my bag or put it on the carry-on on your bike. And when you get where you're going, just have it in a bag or your purse, go to the restroom, pop it on and you can even do it in a stall because I know you know how to put your wig on and make it look good. And do you know, by the way, I'm gonna show you a little test, a little secret, especially for new wig wearers when you're afraid if your wig's going to move. So here's what I suggest. Once you put it on a few times, you know how you like it, you know you like it parted over here, then turn away from your mirror and put your wig on and make sure it's up at your hairline and even the tabs, find that hair around your face. I'm gonna do it with my eyes closed. It's up at the hairline, I even the tabs. I know I like some hair behind my ears and I know I like some wispies. I know that I like a little side part and I take my fingers all the way around. And when you think you're done, you open your eyes. How'd I do? I think I did just fine. So that is a great little test for yourself to gauge and build your confidence that yes, I know what to do, I know how to make my wig look good, even when I don't have a mirror right in front of me, okay? So once again, feel free to roll it up. I do this in airports, I do it all over the place. So another tip with Danielle Bangs, another thing that you could do after your ride, or let's say you're going anywhere, you're somewhere where it's dusty or windy, maybe you're out at the races, I take a scarf, tie it in a triangle, or fold it in a triangle, and I could do this after my ride, and I could tie it underneath for this tail to flap, or I could tie it right over. 
and make a nice secure knot. And that's another way that I could ride in the motorcycle. So I'm not doing everything perfect. What I'm here to do is just give you some ideas so you can start to play, okay? My last suggestion is probably what I would do or the wig that I would choose is a maybe a flatter wig. I don't know. I thought Freedom looked great too and I think it will be terrific. But right now I'm choosing Sabrina. This color is Creamy Toffee. And I want to take a look at this with the helmet right now because it's really short in the back and it's really flat. So I might even part it the wrong way, or I should say the way I'm not gonna wear it, although it looks darn good like that too. I think I'd put it behind my ears. See, it's really short all the way around, so I have a very confident feeling that when I get where I'm going, on my motorcycle ride with a short flatter wig like Sabrina, I think it's gonna be good. And I think I would still try and hide all my bangs, just put them to the side. And there you go. There it is. So those are a few tips for what to do to hide your helmet hair or to have great hair after a ride. And you know what? I just have to end again in my favorites. You know, the last thing to remember, ladies, is who cares if they know it's your hair or not? Just <laughs> have some fun. And I think right now I'm gonna have some fun in Candace. So there you go. Have a great day and thanks for watching.